Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and I'm going to be showing you my combat record in every single Call of Duty game from Call of Duty 4 up into Black Ops Cold War, because that is the current Call of Duty game at the time of making this video. And so really the whole point of this video is to, of course, show every single combat record, but really show the evolution of combat records and how much differently they've changed over time each year a new Call of Duty title has came out. And of course, all these stats are my stats that I've earned myself except for all the ones from Modern Warfare 3 and before, just because I did start at Modern Warfare 3 when playing Call of Duty games, but of course, I don't actually have my legit Modern Warfare 3 stats, because that was on my PlayStation 3, which I no longer have that account anymore, which is unfortunate, so the stats you see when we get to the Modern Warfare 3 section are actually, like, inaccurate, and of course, the ones before that, I, all those Call of Duty games I never played during its prime, so you can just take what you will about what my stats are, and, and I'll t talk about it, of course, when we get to those parts of the videos this is going to be a long video so make sure you sit back relax and enjoy it and i'm just gonna let this video start right now starting off with call of duty 4 as you can see the combat record system in this game is very lackluster when you go to the barracks as you can see we can see my current level the xp the next rank which was like pretty dumb considering like wow i didn't know the next rank was going to be level 18 even though i'm only level 17 in this game which by the way i didn't definitely did not play call of duty 4 back in its prime and especially on the 360 when I did go back and play this uh, years ago it was actually on the PlayStation 3 so I never played this on the 360 uh, but then yeah, your total score you got some kills headshots assists deaths and of course time played which apparently I got three hours on the 360 version uh, but yeah very lackluster for the COD 4 combat record let's go ahead and move on to the next game here we are in World at War. This game also has very limited stats to show when you go to the barracks, but these stats are actually legitimate. I didn't play this game back in its prime either, uh, but I, you know, I want, like a few years ago, my friends and I would go back and play it, and but yeah, I wasn't very good at it. I mean, I was going up against hackers and stuff like that too. So very basic at score, time played, kills and deaths and best streak you know not much here there is a thing called web stats which i don't think exists anymore i'll have to like see if this actually works but as of right now i don't know if web stats like i don't really know what this has to offer but uh that's that's something there that's in the game but yeah that's the world at war stats for you guys so let's go ahead and go to the next call of duty game here we are in modern warfare 2's combat record which of course is just in the barracks here there are accolades that you can look at as well all the stats here are completely inaccurate considering I got into an infected mod lobby where my account basically got completely changed. I'm like now prestige. I don't even know what prestige that even is. And all these stats, all these wins, losses, ties, win streak, kills, headshots, all that that you see there is completely false. None of that is true. I think the only thing that's accurate is actually the time play. Two days of game time actually sounds correct. Of course, this is one of those Call of Duty games I didn't play back in the day. It's just something I got later on and then once in a while played the multiplayer but everything besides the time played is completely inaccurate I didn't earn any of this stuff so yeah kind of unfortunate there but yeah that is literally what the combat record looks like for Modern Warfare 2 there are accolades which of course are just different things you can earn at the end of a match like for example shell shocked is most explosive survived during the match uh, then we have boomstick most shotgun headshots uh, for the match and then what was this one dominator most points captured all this kind of stuff like like i said i didn't earn any of this stuff this is all like all that infected mod stuff which is the, 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 yeah i didn't earn any of this so anyway that is it for modern warfare 2 time to go to the next call of duty game now we are in Black Ops, you guys, which apparently there's over 94,000 players online. Yeah, that is definitely not correct. I wish that was the case. That would be amazing. But we have to go to player card here in order to see our combat record, which of course is just right here. And this combat record is probably the first Call of Duty game to actually ever introduce a more sophisticated looking combat record and a lot more details when it comes to statistical information on just your player itself, which I think is really cool. So here in career, 
here we have of course the time played total wins losses ratio best streak and then of course we have lifetime earnings wager match earnings which is very cool that it keeps track of that and games played and in the money also this game was uh this these combat record stats are on my 360 and i did originally play it on the playstation 3 however i think i have more game time on the 360 than the playstation 3 which is kind of interesting but i also didn't start playing this game until modern warfare 3 which of course came out before modern warfare 3 and then i guess there's summary recent performance you know your last uh, few games that you played personal best most kills assist uh kind of interesting stuff here um and then of course uh, how do i move over okay i couldn't remember there but then there's the weapons here you know combat summary uh you know i guess my favorite weapon is the enfield supposedly which i am a little surprised i would have thought it'd be the 47u but i guess not um but yeah apparently that's the case uh, hit location heat map uh, on the last 10 games i think this is a really cool feature uh, cold war doesn't has kind of has something like this except uh the character model they use it's used to show off like the the better damn like it shows which area of the body does the most damage from that weapon you're looking at still really cool uh it'd be cool if they brought something like this back again you know, his kill death ratio on all these weapons. Ballistic knife apparently uh, is there at the top so somehow. And then, of course, the M72 law, probably because I played gun game or something like that. Uh, then there's accuracy. Apparently, the stakeout, I have the most accuracy. Uh, total kills, yeah, 74U, no big surprise there. Uh, total deaths using the Enfil, <laughs> apparently, I have the most deaths using that. Headshots times killed by grenade and equipment kills, grenade killed by grenade and equipment. Oh my goodness, there's so many stuff. I tossed so many grenades. Uh, compared to the rest of things here uh, but yeah really interesting stuff uh, the matches you know it kind of tells you uh, the different kind of stats here uh, very interesting obviously I didn't play a lot of these game modes uh, domination search and destroy free for all and team death attribute of course the highest one there uh, but heat map here I believe is supposed to be a map of the I guess like match you played but it's not really loading right now it's kind of weird then there's wager earnings that's also interesting kill streaks uh yeah spy plane obviously the most used one and then you know just goes down the list from there and then contracts you know how many of you paid how many have expired uh yeah return on investment i mean the really interesting type of combat record stuff here in black ops something we they don't really see you don't really see in a future call of duty games because it's they just don't have like the whole like actual cod point system anymore the cod point system now is literally the like an actual credit card system where you have to pay real money to get cod points but anyway yeah that is combat record for black ops let's, let's go ahead and move to the next call of duty game now we are in Modern Warfare 3's combat record, pretty much identical to Modern Warfare 2's, however the stats in this game are actually accurate and that's all of them were basically earned myself, however these aren't the actual stats I earned back when this game was in its prime because I played Modern Warfare 3 on the PlayStation 3 back then and Modern Warfare 3 was actually my first Call of Duty game that got me introduced to the series and back then I was on PS3 and not on Xbox 360 and the reason why I'm showing my Xbox 360 stats and not my PS3 ones is because I don't have access to my PlayStation account anymore which is really unfortunate and these stats are very recent too like I got these stats maybe like two years ago when I bought like the Modern Warfare trilogy for the 360 or something like that but either way this is what it looks like you know pretty basic score wins losses ties KD ratio headshots all that stuff pretty standard we do have accolades that made a return which of course is the same as Modern Warfare 2 like rescuer most rescues and then of course there's like boomstick most shotgun headshots and you know you get this stuff for getting uh, for completing a match basically and so yeah this is the stats for modern warfare 3 time to go to the next call of duty game now we are in Black Ops 2 where these stats are actually going to be very legitimate because I did start playing Black Ops 2 on the PlayStation 3. However, shortly after I got it on the PlayStation 3, I bought myself a 360, then bought Black Ops 2 again, and the majority of my game time was actually in Black Ops 2. So all these stats are going to be legitimate here. So here we are with the profile shot, which is very inappropriate for viewers of your age, I'm sure. But anyway, we yeah, we are Master Prestige. We have a game time 
time of over 10 days with a 1.14 KD, which is absolute garbage, but this was back when I was pretty much first playing Call of Duty. And of course, with over 33,000 kills, all those wins, a lot of score, 333 score per minute, a terrible win-lose ratio, and of course, I'm showcased here. Uh, two of these are actually from DLC packs that I bought, so, um, but yeah, anyway, so that's the career. We also have a combat summary here with the deadliest weapons, deadliest score streak, my KD last five games, which is actually pretty decent except for the last one. I've only gotten one Relentless, unfortunately. Over 3,000 headshots, which is pretty good for me back then. Uh, five Frenzy kills, which obviously isn't that great, uh, considering I'm a way better player now. Um, yeah, and then of course we have game modes, uh, TDM being my most popular one by far, and then Domination, Kill Confirm, no big surprise. I Apparently, I played Free For All a lot, which is a little interesting. Uh, gun game, I loved to death. I had a 1.8 KD, or excuse me, win-lose ratio. I don't know why I said KD there, uh, but my best win streak was 10. I've won 10 games in a row. That's pretty crazy, actually. I, this is pretty much the game that got me into gun game really heavily, and yeah, here, yeah, just down the list of, like, how many... I guess I played Hardcore Search one time, but yeah. Uh, and then medals, of course, Relentless being the uh, highest medal here. And yeah, I've never earned a nuclear, unfortunately. Killed 15 enemies without dying. Yeah, I only earned that eight times. And I guess we go to the bottom here. I got the revenge is the most interesting. Uh, but then there's score streaks. Uh, you know, like these I don't really care about too much. I mean, what's the top here? Killed the enemy flag carrier when they are very close to capping. Apparently, I've only done that one time, but... Yeah, and then of course my most used weapon is the PDW by far. I mean, not by far, but honestly, yeah, I use this gun a lot. MP7 as well. A94 was by far the best assault rifle in the game. Peacekeeper was also really fun. I didn't realize it was that high up there. I should have used the MSMC more. That was really fun. And, you know, it just goes down the list. Is there any guns I didn't use? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, this gun's, like, literally impossible to get a kill because, let's be real here, like, it's a lock-on launcher. You don't get kills with it. And then there's the hammer, which I've only gotten four kills, surprisingly. Six kills with that. Uh, God damn, I never touched these guns. That's crazy. I, like, never touched these guns back in the day. That's that's crazy to me. Uh, but, yeah, equipment, definitely C4 over 4,000 times. I mean, this was thing was so easy to use. Everybody used C4. It was so easy. Of course, it's EMP grenades as my tactical. Like, you can destroy sentry guns with, like, one hit with this thing. It's insane. And a combat axe apparently was my third most used. More than grenade. That is very shocking. I've never... that Wow. I, grenade's usually my top one up there. But the combat axe, same with Semtex. Man, that is actually really crazy. Oh, man, things were... A lot different for me back in the day, let me tell you. And then score streaks, yeah, UAV being the highest one, you know, just goes down the list from there. I believe I've used every kill streak in the game. Yeah, escort drone and war machine were by far the worst score streaks for me to use. I guess escort drone wasn't too bad. I mean, I used it four times and got 23 kills. Then we look at the swarm here. I've used it 14 times and only got three kills, which makes zero sense. I don't know why I never got kills with this thing. I, I don't know. I, I think I've only earned this once, actually, and all the other times were through care packages but apparently it still counts as being used. Uh, yeah, Vito Warship is pretty fun, uh, but yeah, I was never I, and I was never good enough back then to get these high kill streaks, and I don't know, the War Machine and Escort Drone were just not something I was interested in. Of course, the Barracks does have leaderboards, prestige mode, and all that stuff, but I, I'm here just to show the combat records, and that's what it is for Black Ops 2, one of the better ones, I think, in the Call of Duty series. So anyway, that's Black Ops 2 for you. Let's go on to the next Call of Duty game. Now we are in Call of Duty Ghosts, which is only 276 players players online man uh, this game did not uh, did not age very well, let me tell you. But if we go to the barracks and you don't see combat records here, right? And it says downloading clan details. I actually don't know what that means. Actually, I don't know. Something's supposed to pop up if I just wait here. But anyway, yeah, if you go to the barracks, you can't see a combat record. In order to actually see the combat records in this game, you have to go over to the right onto your character, then go right again. And that way, you can actually see your kill death, preferred weapon, kill streak, wins, games, play played, win-lose ratio, blah, blah, blah. These stats are legitimate. Every single combat record af uh, from Black Ops 2 and just basically onward are going to be legitimate stats, so I just want you guys to be aware of that. Uh, but yeah, um, I had a pretty decent KD in this game. I say decent um, because like nobody really played it and everybody hated how everyone camped in this game, which is totally understandable. I, I totally get it. Um, but uh, comparing, since this game came out right after Black Ops 2, I actually improved quite a bit as a player, and surprisingly, the 
the SA805 is my is my most used. And what's funny, I'm not that high of prestige, but I have over 10 days played. I actually did reach master prestige in this game, and then I reset my stats. And I really, I kind of regret doing that, but at the same time, I don't uh, because it didn't actually reset any of your camos or challenge progress. And what's cool about this game is that a lot of the challenges, even though you've completed them, you can still complete them again and earn more XP. So it was really easy to level up in this game, and I thought I was going to be able to reach master prestige again and maybe I will and later in the future like like in the future maybe I will but I highly doubt that with how many players are actually playing this game but yeah combat record system is absolutely a big thumbs down because there is not much to it unfortunately and that's literally it so anyway let's go ahead and move to advanced warfare here we are in Advanced Warfare, and can we get a huge appreciation with the look of the customization you could get in this game? I mean, look at this freaking outfit that you get for reaching the max rank in the game. It's, oh my goodness, it's, so, it's just so sexy, you guys. But anyway, if we go over to Operator, and we go all the way down to Combat Record, that's where we can see our combat record, obviously. And as you can see, I have over 16 days of game time with over 57,000 kills. That's quite a bit. And over 1,600 wins at 1.5. 3 KD, uh, negative win-lose ratio, holy smokes, and then a 366 uh, score per minute, but yeah, that is my career right there. If I click on it, uh, you can see uh, more things, deaths, wins, you know, and then the personal best medals that I've gotten, spotter, one shot, one kill, vanguard, terminated, exterminated, long shots, so that's kind of interesting. Then, of course, it shows my games modes here, the last five games. I had a 7.4 KD. I think I almost got a nuke that game, too, actually, uh, but in Domination, I have almost 600 wins wins and a team deathmatch I have almost 300 wins so in this game I played a little bit more domination than TDM surprisingly momentum's actually my fourth most played game mode which is quite funny because I do remember playing this game mode a lot back in the day and I really enjoyed it infected was also really fun to play hard points gun game it was amazing holy smokes a 1.9 win lose ratio I'm curious what my KD is too bad it doesn't actually show that in this game and you know just goes down the list yeah search and rescue I like never even played but yeah I actually did enjoy this game at the time. It was completely different, you know, because of the whole advanced movement system. Uh, and then, of course, my most used weapons is the HBR A3, HBR A3, and it took me a really long time to get the Insanity variant, but this was by far my favorite gun to use in the game. And Melee was also a very fun weapon. I think uh, this kind of gave the LMGs more of a limelight, because in previous Call of Duty games, nobody really used LMGs. AK-12 was also pretty fun. SN SN6 is my most used SMG, and a lot of you are probably like extremely surprised to see this on the list because this was considered like the weakest SMG. But for some reason, I love the accuracy of the gun, even though I had a shitty KD with it. Uh, I, it's, it's just a gun I loved using overall. ARX was very good, and you know, of course, these gun, these game, this game did have like completely different uh, stat changing variants and. Yeah, MP11, IMR, just goes down the list. And you know, the ASMR, like, you know, the ASM1 right here was the most powerful gun in the game. Same with the BAL27, but as you see, they're pretty far down my list, actually. They're like only a quarter of the top guns I've used, and that's only because. I just didn't want to be that person who used that gun all the time, and I wanted to actually get good things. There's a lot of guns I haven't used. It's mostly because these guns right here, the Sten, Repulse, I totally forgot that gun was a game, and one grand, all these guns with zero kills, I do not have unlocked at all, because they're locked behind supply drops, unfortunately, but yeah, Exo Launcher, you know, which is basically like the lethals and tacticals of this game. We got a Semtex, Frag, Stun Grenade, I love using the Semtex, the Spike Drone was very hard to use, Variable Grenade, which you could actually change what it could be, very interesting, very creative, I really like that idea there explosive drone smoke you know all that stuff uh score streaks of course the uav is the most one four thousand times i've earned it that is insane to me no kills with a care package uh, that's very surprising you can't really get kills with any of this stuff honestly system hack aerial assault drone by far my favorite streak in the game super underrated i feel like i was the only person who took advantage of this thing and honestly i've just gotten some really crazy clips with it in the past and it's, oh man very very good the paladin and X1 Goliath. This game had some really good streaks. The aerial recon drone was absolute garbage, and yeah, but yeah, very interesting streaks in this game. I love how you could customize them, and of course, my medals. So we got headshots, comeback. Where are my streak medals? Those are the ones I want to look at. No super kills, but I have gotten one mega kill apparently. 
and then we go down here i've gotten 21 unstoppable metals two vicious metals so out of those two times i've heard of vicious metals and combine i have 21 unstoppable pretty crazy that's not too impressive considering that in this game the kills you get with your kill streaks do count towards these metals and that's actually why i was able to get it i've never even earned a dna bomb in case you guys were wondering but i think i may go back and try and earn it since people actually still apparently play this game and as your game modes yeah i just don't really care the rest of these metals but yeah those are my combat record here for advanced warfare you guys let's go ahead and move on to the next game here we are in Black Ops 3. In order to see your combat record in this game, uh, one thing you can actually do is if you go over to the right and go to a player's uh, profile here, you can actually select combat record. And that's one way of doing it. But if you want to see your own combat record, you could also do that too, I suppose. But, but just press the start button and go all the way over to barracks. And of course, you can see your zombies campaign and multiplayer combat record. And by the way, I do have 100% challenges completed in multiplayer because... I, I'm, I'm just I'm just built that way. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at multiplayer stats here. We have over 69,000 kills, over 1,600 wins, uh, win-lose ratio of 1.25, a KD ratio of almost 1.5. I'm almost level 500 in the game for Master Prestige, and of course, we have some showcase tier of different medals. Uh, yeah, I've only earned one 25 kill streak without dying. Uh, just, yeah, it's very unfortunate. I was so close to getting a nuclear that game, too, but then the game ended, and I didn't even die, which was really stupid uh, but yeah mega kill I only earned two I didn't really get too many like crazy medals in this game totally forgot they changed the quad fee medal to the black ops 4 logo uh, but yeah then it just goes down the list here apparently kingslayer is the most I've ever gotten uh, then yeah specialist anti-specialist score restrict you know yeah game modes and yeah not really like too interesting stuff here just really the combat one is where it's at um, and then of course I could do a fresh start yeah that is not happening uh, but if we actually click on the combat record here uh, we can actually go ahead and why is the why is it changing the profile snapshot apparently i don't have a snapshot but i do have a calling card showcase here which of course this top one here is if you complete all the easter eggs for zombies which is really cool this one is black ops 4 i think it, this was for like i don't i don't know i think everyone got this calling card i'm actually not too sure then of course this is uh of course getting diamond camo with every single weapon and then uh yeah uh, apparently there's also arena here which of course was the ranked mode for black ops 3 i never actually actually really played it uh one win 26 kills uh win lose ratio is 0.5 so I apparently i've only played two games of that uh but yeah then there's public here uh the best weapon is the hvk of course because this gun is amazing the weevil is my favorite smg in the game and then you know, just goes down the list from there i don't have every weapon unlocked because they were in supply drops like look how many there are i have so many weapons here a lot of them are, are melee weapons actually but yeah i don't have like any of these guns and some of these uh weapons actually here the melee ones i just never even bothered using because what's the point equipment is definitely uh the semtex being the most used one god it's so unique looking in this game too c4 being the second most used pretty fun uh concussion grenade there and you know just down the list it goes apparently black hat's the last one i use it definitely was not as good as the black ops 2 black hat uh, the hacking kind of equipment uh, it definitely wasn't as good but you know it's in the game and then of course we have specialists here the most kills was with the ruin unfortunately i think people who use gravity spikes are are just lame because it requires no skills to use gravity spikes but um I think the reason why it's on the top there is because I need to complete character challenges for them, and it just took me a long time to get done. Annihilator was by far my favorite one to use. Hive was also pretty useful for keeping people away from buildings. Uh, Tempest was fun. You know, they're all really fun. I mean, these are their specialists for crying out loud. The last one apparently was Gambler, when, I mean, obviously that's going to be the last one because you have to use tokens in order to use Blackjack. Uh, but yeah, Psychosis apparently didn't use that much. Overdrive definitely didn't use very much. But yeah, those are the stats for the specialists we go to score streaks here uh 1300 assists with the uav then counter uv hater yeah these were like the three main ones i always use i love using the hater uh and then yeah just goes down the list from there apparently i've never got a kill with a power core i don't know how you can get a kill with a power core i suppose uh but yeah i've used it 34 times uh but yeah care package is it the second oh well i mean i guess it's only talking about kills here i mean yeah like how often do you get a kill with a care package right it's very rare uh but you can get weapons from care package 
packages, so it works kill streaks from care packages. GI unit, I forgot about that. That was thing was fun. Game modes, yeah, domination being the top one, of course, because I love playing domination. I have exactly a one win lose ratio. Uh, it is a little bit off of to the two game difference there. TDM, and then search and destroy, which apparently was my third most used compared to free for all. That's actually very shocking to me that to see that. So, but that might be because uh, I was trying to get the hundred percent or calling card, so I probably required me to play search and destroy a lot. And then you know just goes down the list from there. I loved playing gun game. I have a 7.5 win lose ratio, you guys. Like I played so much gun game back then. Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3 were and were like my babies for playing gun game. Same with Call of Duty Ghost, actually. Like, oh man, the, the gun game was just so good back in those games, and they actually had it on leaderboards and on your combat record. But now in these current Call of Duty games, they don't have that anymore, which is so stupid. But I really enjoyed playing gun game back then. Uh, but yeah, those are all my stats for, and I have 18 days of game time. Uh, that's freaking crazy. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That is my stats for the combat record uh, in Black Ops 3. Let's go ahead and move on to the next Call of Duty game. Now, here we are in Infinite Warfare, where I am at Master Prestige 13. If we go to Barracks, we can go over to Records, and that's how we see our combat records here. So we have over 42,000 kills, 1.5 KD, over 1,000 wins, at 1.4 win-lose ratio, which is actually one of the better win-lose ratios I have. If we actually select on this, you can see that my best weapon is the K-Bar. That gun is just absolutely amazing. I guess we can look at all the stuff to the right here. Over 1,900 games played. You know, shows my wins and losses and the ratio for it. You know, last five games I have. And yeah, all that kind of stuff. My highest kills in a single game apparently was 66. My highest KD was 16. Kills without dying is 28. Uh, almost 30 kill streak there. Uh, most XP, which is a very interesting stat, was 81,000. And then my game time is 10 days. And uh, yeah, uh, if we go over, I guess, the best weapon here you can see like some of my uh, top weapons here the raw which I loved using that gun the Volk was very underrated and one was a fun semi-auto weapon to use and you know it just goes down from the R3K was also fun but yeah it just goes down the list from here it's very weird going back and looking at these guns because it's been so long since I've even opened up infinite warfare and I'm kind of thinking about going back and trying to play this game but some weapons I've never got a kill with uh, apparently the Venom X okay that's not sure that I've gotten kills with these but the Katana and Nunchucks I guess I've never gotten kills with and then my best rig which of course is the same thing as specialist is the ftl i love using the eraser it's basically the annihilator in this game and there's the merc uh, warfighter and you know just goes down the list from there we didn't get very too we didn't get like too many rigs in this game and i don't think they've ever added a dlc rig either which is a little unfortunate uh cluster grenade yeah by far the most one i've used plasma grenade seeker grenade i remember using that a lot so the tar was a very interesting one to use uh bio spike black hole projector very pretty creative stuff here for a futuristic space Call of Duty game. Uh, Jammer Grenade uh, is the top one, I believe. Yeah, Jams, Enemy Minimap Movement. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, that. yeah, I mean, come on. Uh, personal Radar, that was okay, I guess. Uh, nano Shot, uh, this is basically a stim shot in the game, and I never really used it that much, but ever since Black Ops 4 came out, I realized stim shots are very useful, so maybe I'll be using it more if I go back and play this. Yeah, Best Streak is the Warden. Uh, I just felt like this was the easiest one for me to get kills I don't know why that's just kind of the case scorchers were also pretty good for playing domination the apex was really fun to use I think that was like one of the best streaks we've ever seen in Call of Duty Scara bombardment you know down the list from there was my last one the RCA that was the uh, the robot yeah I never really used that too much probably because you moved really slow with it the Thor was kind of fun but yeah pretty interesting streaks in that game of course these are lethal streaks and here are support streaks the UAV counter UAV drone package and advanced UAV which of course we all know what the advanced UAV is but uh, yeah most successful game type apparently is infected because of my score per minute it's no big surprise there I guess uh, but yeah, hard point. Uh, kind of weird how they use the game modes here. Uh, it just goes by like the amount of score I've gotten. And apparently Infected is at the top there. Gun game, that was also something I played a lot. 1.9 kill death ratio for it. But yeah, that's pretty much just my combat record there, you guys. There are leaderboards, there are medals here. If we go over to the combat ones and see like what my like highest ones are. So if we go down the bottom here. Unstoppable, I've gotten eight of them. Apparently I've only gotten two juggernauts in this game. I don't even remember getting them i never got a deatomizer strike because in this game you have to use certain guns that have the like nuke perk on it so you can like get the deatomizer strike which is kind of dumb i thought in a way but it kind of makes sense because there are definitely weapon variants out there that are very powerful and so i think it would make it a lot easier for people to get nukes and they didn't want to do that or something 
Never gotten an ultra kill, apparently. I've gotten one kill chain. So this is, it's funny, this is like you have to kill eight enemies in a short time of one another, but this one is kill nine enemies of a short time of one another, but I've gotten that, but not the ultra kill, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, there you go, you guys. Those are the combat record stats that I have in Infinite Warfare. Let's go ahead and move on to the next game. Here we are in Modern Warfare Remastered, which of course is the remastered version of Call of Duty 4. Go to the combat record here, I have a 1.47 kill death, over 20,000 kills. It actually counts your melee kills as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, win percentage is 54%, not that great. Only six days of game time. I'm only like Prestige 7 in this game, which is really unfortunate because this game did come out the same time as Infinite Warfare. Uh, but yeah, I totally would have put way more time into this game if I really wanted to. And yeah, we can see my most used weapon is the AK-47, then the M4 car mine and just goes down the list from there uh but yeah i have a 1kd with that sniper apparently did not know that and then yeah 1.38 with that thing uh yeah just goes down the list from there there's probably some guns i've never used because there is dlc guns in this game yeah sure enough and what do you know it just happens to be the dlc pistols i've never used uh, and then yeah we got some melee weapons here and there's a bunch of melee look at all oh my goodness look at all these melee weapons i have not used in the game holy smokes and then of course we have have frag, stun grenade, flash grenade, claymores, RPG, and you know, just down the list. Apparently, I've never used the grenade launcher. Wow, that really shows how cool of a person I am. Uh, kill streak, yeah, there's only three kill streaks in this game, but yeah, of course, the radar is going to be the number one because there's only three kill streaks in the game, and that's the easiest one to earn. So, yeah, big surprise that it's in this like type of order, you know. Uh, team deathmatch being the highest game mode there, uh, the most played, and then domination just goes down the list from there. Gun game, I didn't really play too much, I only have nine wins that's really unfortunate i think it might have been because nobody really played the gun game or maybe i just didn't really enjoy it that much i'm not really sure what the deal was uh but yeah uh, kind of interesting uh but then medals we can go ahead and see the combat ones over 2,000 headshots thought i would have had a lot more than that considering you need so many headshots in this game to get exclusion zone camo which i by the way i don't have unfortunately but yeah if we look at my killstreak medals here as you can see i've earned two vicious medals and no unstoppable medals so apparently all the times i've earned a vicious this middle. I've never gotten a kill afterwards, so maybe that's a goal I can go for later in the future. And I believe kill streaks count towards these as well. I can't really remember. I want to say they do, um, but yeah, uh, yeah. I've got an ultra kill, no kill chains, unfortunately, no super kill or mega kills either. But I've got an ultra kills. Oh, man, that's crazy. Uh, kill streaks, anti kill streaks, and all this stuff. Yeah, I don't really care about any of that. And of course, there's challenges here, you know. But I, I never really gone through most of them except for the career ones, which are pretty easy to do. Thirty feet to more to your death. Oh man, I never really thought about doing that one. Uh, camo challenges, I, I really was trying to go for, but you know, two Call of Duty games in one year, not really easy to kind of balance it out. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, prestige leaderboards and all that good stuff. So that's the combat record for Modern Warfare Remastered let's go ahead and jump into the next game now here we are in world war ii if you go over to your soldier when you first log in to the multiplayer main menu you can see all your kills deaths kill death ratio and all the good stuff by the way my kill death ratio for world war ii is the highest kill death ratio i have in any call of duty game to this date so a 1.84 almost a 2kd i've gotten around like seven or eight nukes in this game v2 rockets and holy smokes you guys i was really good at this game and and therefore I enjoyed it a ton as you can see there I even have the v2 rocket calling card on my player uh, but yeah over 7,000 headshots I have 18 days of game time probably my most time played in any Call of Duty game and yeah I just enjoyed the hell out of this game there's so much incentive to actually play it if you go down to dossier this is where you can actually see your combat record and also I am max social score so I'm officially a verified social score person in World War II which is amazing so go down the combat records here best weapons the mp40 surprisingly i haven't used that gun in forever for some reason it goes down to the avs i don't know why it does that um but yeah i unfortunately i don't really like the weapon combat record system in this game i wish it had the list like previous games did where i actually showed you uh which gun had the most kills in order and it doesn't do that unfortunately you have to just go through each category and see see it for yourself basically but yeah best weapon is the mp40 because i believe that's the most kills i have the best score streak is is the fighter pilot light see this is the kind of like like i, I don't know uh, how you want to say it's the the system or I don't even know what you would call it. This is how I want to see the weapons weapons be organized, uh, but unfortunately it's not like that. But Molotov cocktail, yeah, I have the most uses. Uh, surprisingly, why is the recon aircraft? Are you serious? Why is those combined? 
That is so. Oh wait, never mind. I forgot. Call to call, call tough cocktails are kill streaks in this game. I totally forgot about that. Uh, but yeah, recon aircraft, and you know, just goes down the list from there. Uh, ball gunner turret. Um, yeah, this thing was pretty fun to use uh, every time. Like you, you couldn't really shoot it down. It was pretty hard to do so. Paratroops were also pretty fun. Firebombing run as well. Uh, my best division was the commando division with a. Oh, infantry is 1.85. Where's the commando division? Commando, I have a 2.18 kill death. Yeah, I really like the perks you get using commando division, and this so far it was like my favorite one. Mountain division was pretty fun too because you're immune to basically UAVs. Armor division, I mean, they're all good. I love the division system. It was amazing. And then, of course, here we are with lethals and my kills and all that stuff with them. But yeah, uh, best gin. What? <laughs> Gridiron was my best mode. That's surprising. Uh, yeah, I guess my highest KD out of all of these was free-for-all. No big surprise there. A 3.7 win-lose ratio. Wow. Uh, but yeah, it's not really in order. It only goes by my kill-death ratio, which is super weird. Not by, like, how many games I've played. TDM, of course, being, like, the highest tier. Then it looks like Domination is the second highest. Demolition, and, you know, just Demolition. Play I played one match of... Hardcore Search and Destroy, that's shocking. Um, but yeah, uh, where's Gridiron? Because this was my best mode. So it must be my KD, because I have a 2.37, very surprising, with a 6.57 win lose ratio. Holy smokes, man, I must have won every single Gridiron game or something. My goodness, that is a high win lose ratio. Um, but yeah, Signal Flare, uh, I guess, yeah, obviously I have the most assists with it. I'm trying to get like one of those challenges done that's like super annoying when you have to use the Signal Flare. So I I think I've been using them like every single class every time every time I go back and play this game uh, but yeah uh, 1.4 win lose ratio you can see some other stats here 30 36 was my highest kill streak I probably got a nuke and called it in and that was my highest kill streak 103 kills I assume that's my best stats so 103 kills is the most kills I've gotten in a single game that's pretty impressive uh, but yeah 97 score per minute that doesn't sound right that seems pretty low to me but anyway yeah that is basically my combat record here in World War II. I'm um, almost level 500. Man, I might have to go back and play this game, you guys, because I believe double XP is permanently, yeah, double XP is like activated and everything here. So, anyway, yep, let's go on to the next Call of Duty game. Here we are in Black Ops 4. In order to see our stats, we have to be in the multiplayer lobby and then press the start button, which brings us straight to our barracks. And as you can see, we have our medals and our cursor here because this is like the one Call of Duty game where they decided to have a cursor, apparently. But anyway, we've got our medals, we got our progression and unlocks, obviously, and prestige master level 462. And of course, our stats are here on the right. Let's go ahead and look at our stats here really quickly. I have over 14 days played, over 1,600 wins with just under a thousand losses and then we have ekia's which is over 66,000. of course it even says there ekia means enemies killed in action which also means that those are assist and kills put together and i have a 2.17 ekia slash death ratio of course that's not a legitimate kd because that's also including assist if you look at my deaths and kills you take the kills and divide it by deaths then you can actually get my real kd which is about a 1.5 which i guess is is pretty good for this game I suppose also I'd like to mention I have a 1.7 win lose ratio I don't know if this is the best win lose ratio I have out of all the Call of Duty games but that's a pretty good win lose ratio in my opinion and then we have over 7 million score with like a 360 score per minute and we have like over 2600 score per game and then healing per game is 468 because of course we have manual healing in this game and then damage per game is over 3000 so that's kind of some interesting stats that we've never really seen before and then of course we can go to our medals here some highlighted ones here over 7,000 headshots three brutals and three kill chains and yeah unfortunately you guys I have not earned a nuclear medal this is the one of those Call of Duty games where I should have gotten a nuclear medal because this was a pretty easy game I'm gonna be honest with you multiplayer was pretty easy and it was very fun for me to actually go ahead and grind different weapons I, I really did enjoy this so I had 21 relentless medals which is quite a bit and I've always like choked off the nuke like just less than 10 kills and as you can see of course I've gotten three brutals uh, and it's a little unfortunate I don't have more of those but 20 relentless is pretty good and we just keep going down the list here we got 23 bank shots apparently 
And then, of course, we have Ruthless Metals, 72 Ruthless Metals. Wow, that is a, just, I don't know. For me, that just seems like a lot. Then 351 Merciless. I went on 10 kill streaks a lot. Like, like I said, this game was pretty easy for me. Of course, we have all these other uh, metals that we're just not going to go over. Um, but I guess that's it. I mean, we have challenges here. As you can see, I do have the 100% or calling card. I don't have all the Dark Ops, obviously, because I don't even have a nuclear metal in this game. And that's one of the Dark Ops challenges. I do, however, have this. No, not this one. Which one is it? It's. Uh, the gemmed out activate the highest tier of dark matter camo nuclear metal with every primary weapon must have weapon equipped so what's funny about this challenge i have this unlocked but i've never earned myself a nuclear metal well that's because they changed the way that dark matter progression works when it comes to getting different reactive forms in game where you don't actually have to go on a kill streak anymore for it to actually change all you need is actually just 30 kills with the gun no matter doesn't matter how many times you've died so yeah i'm glad they changed that challenge it was a lot easier to get this gemmed out dark ops challenge and it just makes it look more impressive because they never bothered changing the description uh but yeah that's literally it for the stats you guys i wish they had more depth on the combat record in this game but they really don't and so when it comes to like looking at your guns like how many kills you have with each weapon i actually have no clue where you go to see that now that i think about it do we go to create a class here let's go here uh hmm yeah, I have no idea what my highest kill weapon is. Uh, I feel really dumb. I feel like I should know this. I, I don't know. I, it doesn't say it somewhere. I, I mean, you'd think it would be right here, right? But I don't see it, which is very interesting. We have leaderboards, but yeah, can I not check what my most used weapon is in this game? Huh, I just noticed that. Wow, that's that, that just really hit hard, just, just realizing that now. But anyway, that is it for Black Ops 4. Let's go ahead and move on to the next game, which is Modern Warfare. Now we are in Modern Warfare. To see our combat record, we gotta go all the way to the barracks over here, and then of course down to records. And actually, if you go just hover over it here, we can actually look to see my weapon of choice is the Uzi, which means that this is actually my most used weapon in the game with the most kills. And you guys are probably wondering, really? The Uzi is your most used gun in this game? No wonder your KD is only a 1.28. You've just been using the Uzi all the time, although they did buff it to make it a lot better and viable now well the reason why i used it because i really wanted to get i believe obsidian camo on it and just show off that i got obsidian on one of the worst guns in the game and so yeah and then of course i have 14 days uh, with over 3700 games played apparently uh and then yeah i have a win lose ratio of 1.2 not super great so yeah my win lose and kill death like always stayed consistent it seemed like which was kind of interesting then my highest kill streak was a 25 and which means i've never earned myself a tactical nuke in this game which i don't expect to actually get and then my score per minute is 94 like that is so low you guys 94 score per minute holy crap yeah like this game was just so freaking hard and just it was just completely bs like this everything about this multiplayer was just complete bs in my opinion but a score per minute is 94 i did not realize how low that actually was until i looked at it that's insane to me and then of course we can go on to it and then we of course it just goes right to the leaderboard tier for multiplayer warzone then co-op uh yeah we don't care about that stuff for or leaderboards in general but combat record here yeah my weapon obviously and then the kilo actually the kilo is my most killed weapon or this is assault rifle category i see what they're doing here so kilo is the most used assault rifle smg we already know oh what the heck apparently it's the aug not the uzi oh no it's the uzi okay now i see what's going on here it actually doesn't have it in order with kills i just realized that um but anyway yeah uh 3, kills with the uzi not even freaking close with the rest of the guns uh, but interesting okay okay and then of course we got some lethals here you can just see my uses and like kills i've gotten with all of them apparently have used Semtex as all the time uh tacticals uh flash grenade i don't think i use stim shot that much or stim okay I, never mind i guess i did use it quite a bit but heartbeat sensor okay this is probably including warzone because i never use this in multiplayer so yeah all these count uh from warzone as well which is a little annoying if i'm being completely honest with you i wish they would have it a separate combat record for warzone but they don't do that i don't know why it just really bothers the crap out of me and then of course we got all these kill streaks here uh yeah nothing really super special about this i guess uh yeah we got some game modes uh yeah i don't know what to tell you i usually i reinforce apparently i've never played that's the only game mode i've never played out of all these or, or capture the flag same with that as well so very interesting and then field upgrades uh yeah i mean i use all of them some i don't use there's some like weapon drop like what's the point i just don't see the point of using that um uh, 
Anyway, we got commendations, which are basically just accolades, just named differently, if I'm being completely honest with you. I I mean, they're not medals. I mean, I guess they are medals. I, like, I, I don't know. I, like, is there, like, a, a kill streak medal here? What's this? No kills and at least 10 deaths. Wow, that's insane. Longest time spent on a single weapon. Wow, one time? Really? Like, okay. Uh, but, yeah, is there any, like, no deaths from behind? Uh, yeah, these are just, like most assist with UAVs. Yeah, they're just useless. Most kills from behind. Like, do I care about any of these? <sighs> yeah, that, 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 I just, I'm just not a big fan of it. But yeah, there you go. That's the combat record for Modern Warfare. It is a little bit more improved than Black Ops 4, I'd say. But obviously, my stats are just complete garbage. And of course, they're combined with Warzone. So yeah, you don't really know my exact multiplayer stats, unfortunately. But anyway, that is Modern Warfare. Time to move on to the last Call of Duty game, which is Black Ops Cold War. Now we are finally in the most up-to-date Call of Duty game, which is Black Ops Cold War. Of course, these stats are substitute to change just because I am still playing this game. But as you can see, I have a 1.55 elimination slash death ratio. Remember that this does not my kill death ratio. It's elimination slash death ratio because eliminations are also assist, which I think is like the dumbest thing ever. And then of course we have a win-lose ratio of 1.24, score per minute of 547. Apparently the MP5 is my top weapon, and of course there's zombie stats here as well and then of course you can see on the right uh, the total time played for multiplayer zombies and even league play which i haven't started playing yet uh, but let's go ahead and go to combat records here uh, as you can see i am like level 259 even though it's for this season if we go actually to progression here you can see my stats for all the season or not my stats my rank for each season uh, but for season four i am currently at 259 at the time of making this video so yeah let's go ahead and go to combat record here uh, is there anything else to see here nothing really highest kill streak is 23 uh, hopefully I can beat that um, but yeah I think the reason why the mp5 was my top uh, weapon here is because first of all it was the best gun to use when the game first came out and second of all I was having a really hard time trying to get point-blank kills and this is the first SMG I was trying to get gold so I was trying to figure out the best way to get uh, point-blank kills and so therefore that's probably why it has it's this is my most used weapon right now but yeah the Krig is also amazing AK-47 is also really good LC-10 is really good I'm surprised that's actually high up there and of course we just go down the list from there most of these weapons i do have gold for because i do have dark matter ultra and then of course there's some melee weapons that i haven't even bothered using yet um but yeah equipment semtex by far the one i use the most i love using stim shot frag is also really good c4 is actually not too bad in this game either way better than modern warfare's uh, c4 in my opinion and yeah flashbang being the last one not a big surprise there and then, of course, we have uh, our score streaks here. Spy playing, of course, giving me the most assists. And then the harp. Uh, surprisingly, these are like my top three. I do like using the harp. Ever since they added it, I've just been using it constantly. And literally everybody else uses it as well. But my last one is the care package. But that, I guess it only counts for kills. Not necessarily how many times I've used it, which is 489 times. Never been killed by a care package. Oh, let's hope I don't uh, jinx, my, jinx myself right there. But yeah, a combat bow is terrible. I barely even earn a gunship in this game. I really should try and earn it more it's very difficult to do that though uh trophy system field mic yeah all my different type of field upgrades i love using the trophy system uh yeah vehicles apparently they keep track of your most used vehicles driver kills is the hind which i mean okay the hind is literally an attack chopper that you can go into when playing combined arms and or uh what's it called fire team and so yeah obviously that's going to give me the most kills out of the rest of these like yeah like these the only way to get kills with like all of these i'm the gunboat I, I guess i've never really used the gunboat but uh yeah i don't know i don't know you guys <sighs> but uh yeah if we go to game modes here uh i guess hardcore team deathmatch is what was that 429 games played wow i did not realize how many times i played that i've gotten too relentless though i love the metal spotlights though and of course you can actually see your score score per minute eliminations elimination slash death ratio damage win loss ratio that's pretty cool you can do that with each game mode here which i think is really cool of course it's like your last 10 games or so uh but yeah domination being the second most and you just, just goes down the list from here i'm playing a lot more combined arms lately because i'm trying to get done with a lot of harder challenges which are you can't complete in any other game mode really uh but yeah gunfight tournament um wow i'm actually surprised to keep track of that i totally forgot about gunfight tournaments i really want to get into that a lot more i think that's a very cool addition to the call of duty series um but yeah that's all my multiplayer stats of course there's league which i never played and then of course zombies which we're not going to get into maybe i'll make a separate video talking about zombie combat records maybe i don't know i'll just thought out there uh but yeah we can also go to medals here uh 
uh, that's something we can do. Lights out. Uh, there's some ones here that I've only earned once. Only one Hail Mary, surprisingly. But what's lights out? Kill two or more enemies rapidly while they are flash by or flashbang. I don't use flashbang, so whatever. But two ultra kills. I've gotten four relentless. Uh, I've never got a 25 kill streak. Is that is that true? 20 what oh, wow i i swear i've been on 25 kill streaks before in this game that is shocking to me uh but yeah i've gone 27 ruthless in this game um yeah i guess there's not much else to show here merciless uh but yeah never earned a nuclear apparently i've never gone a 25 kill streak that's very shocking to me i'm gonna have to change that but of course skill-based matchmaking is preventing that from happening and then of course we have all these score streaks countermeasures game modes yeah i don't really care about any of these and i'm sure you guys don't either but anyway that is it for combat records you guys i hope you enjoyed this video a very long one indeed it is and of course more call of duty games are going to be coming out in the future but you know we'll just kind of have to like wait and see like what those games are going to be like i'm definitely never going to probably remake this video ever again i just thought i'd make a video kind of showcasing my stats in all the call of, duty call of duty games up to black ops cold war because it is the most current one by the time this video is uploaded so anyway thank you guys for watching make sure you leave a like and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more videos every single day and i shall catch you guys later